so these are the uh, materials that you need for today's uh, equilibrium lab you need the four weighing boards uh, you you will take your l10 packet and in l10 packet you will see two weighing boards uh, potassium thiocyanide kscn and fecl3 gloves and in previous labs uh, if you remember i told you not to throw the weighing boards so you still should have weighing boards and the graduated cylinder so you take the two weighing boards and the graduated cylinder from the previous labs so these are the materials that you need uh, you can see these weighing boards and this graduate cylinder. It probably be in your LO4 or LO1 packet. Um, do not throw away these weighing boards. Always wash them and put them back because we will be using them for uh, future labs as well. Make sure you wear the gloves while doing the experiment and. Uh, uh, you can use any of your Ziploc bags to put any waste. Uh, remember that on August 12th, you are returning your lab kit. So do not throw away anything unless I'm, I, you're told to do so. Now, this equilibrium lab activity, you will be um, provided... Um, reversible reaction in the form of a net ionic equation uh, and you are going to basically study uh, how adding or removing any particular reactant or product uh, changes the concentration of the reactants or products we already discussed the materials so basically you need ferric chloride and potassium thiocyanide you are mixing them to make the products and this is the net ionic equation so net ionic equation basically tells you what exactly is going on in the reaction so ferric ions from ferric chloride reacting with thiocyanate ion from KSCN to produce this complex so what are you going to do <coughs> here there is one line here so you're going to use a sharpie to mark your four weighing boards as one two three and four uh, you're going to name one as original two as control three as add fe3 plus and four as add scn negative i mark them only one two three four but you just don't have to do one two three four you also have to label one is original write these words in your weighing boards and make sure you take a picture then in weighing board then second is you record the original color of fe3 plus which is basically the color of ferric chloride and when you record means uh, you have not added anything yet you're just going to look at the pipettes and look at the color of fe3 plus and record means you are putting it this is my last you're putting it here data sheet right here color red green yellow orange whatever it is you put it here that's b then the next is you record the original color of thiocyanate which is the color of kscn you have only these two pipettes um, we're talking about these two uh, and then where will the color of ksc and c part goes it goes here then what do you do take weighing board one which we're calling it as original take 10 ml graduated cylinder and in measure one milliliter of water you can just take the tap water and add it to the weighing board one then in that weighing board add one drop of ferric chloride and one drop of kscn 
and swirl the contents so that they can be mixed. This will set up your equilibrium in equation 2. Now record the color of this situation uh, solution. This is the color of the product. And where will that go? It will go here. So in this part, you are just writing the colors. This is my weighing board 1, which we are calling it as original. Then what are you doing in weighing board 2? You are going to transfer 3 drops of the mixture from the weighing board 1 to the weighing board 2. And you have a dropper also in this um, Alten bag and you can use that dropper here to transfer 3 drops from weighing board 1 to weighing board 2. Then use a graduated cylinder to add 3 milliliter of water to this weighing board. Swirl the contents to mix. Now we are going to call this as your control solution. Means we are going to whenever we are doing the further uh, reactions we are going to compare the colors with this control. Set this aside and do not add anything to any other reagent to it. You will compare the colors of this solution to the solutions in both 3 and 4. Then in board 3 you are going to transfer the you're going to transfer before three drops of the mixture from weighing board one you're going to add three milliliter of water swirl the mixture and then add two drops of ferric chloride in it swirl it again now compare its color to the weighing board with the weighing board 2 which is a control is it lighter or darker what is what is forming how can you explain it so when you did this when you took the weighing board 3 and you added fe3 plus into it here this is go here so when you added fecl3 was the color getting lighter or darker? It goes here. What is your stressor? Your reaction was going in, in weighing board 1. This was your reaction going on, which was in equilibrium. You disturb this equilibrium by adding FeCl3, which is, so basically you disturb the reaction by adding this. So then what is your stressor? This is your stressor. Now, compare the color with the color of the control. Is it getting lighter or darker? Then think, what should you write here? Uh, is it shifting right or left? And if it is, what species are increasing or what species are decreasing? These are your species. If you are saying that your reaction is shifting to the right, means you are making this more. If you are saying the reaction is shifting to the left, means you are making these reactants. How will you decide which one is shifting? Compare the colors. Let's say these two are lighter in color and this is darker. And when you added FeCl3 and the color is getting darker, that means you are shifting it to the right. By adding FeCl3, if the color is getting lighter, means you are shifting the reaction to the left. Similarly, you are going to take the weighing board 4. In that one, you are going to take the 3 drops of the mixture from weighing board 1. Add 3 milliliter of water. Swirl the mixture. And now add 2 drops of KSCN and swirl it again. Compare the color. To the weighing board 2. Remember your weighing board 2 is the control. You always compare the color with that. If the color is getting darker compared to the control, you are shifting your reaction to the right. If the color is getting lighter, you are shifting the reaction to the left. Once you are done 
with these you have this is the data sheet you have to fill you go to your post lab 6 on canvas and in that post lab you have a few questions uh, it's not on top of my mind but i think there are six or seven questions the very first question is that you have to attach this lab data sheet there this lab data sheet is available on canvas as a word document you can just use this page type the data and put it under the first question of this post lab quiz a post lab 6 along with pictures you need to have at least three to four pictures uh, first everything with labeled then weighing both one two three and four and then you post those pictures also under question number one of this post lab six and then rest of the questions in that post lab six are multiple choice this will be your 15 points lab once you are done with the experiment you can use at one of the ziploc bags um, empty one in, from your lab kit to collect the waste uh, you can use a sharpie to write down l10 waste but make sure um, you are washing your weighing boards and putting them wipe it with the paper towel and put them back because we need them for more reactions and uh, this is the instruction here <clears throat> remove your gloves uh, and place them in the waste ziplock uh, wash your hands thoroughly clean your workspace and keep the waste in the secure location away from your children and pets and you will return it when you return the lab kit and we know when that is i already posted the announcement on canvas 